There's a certain sequence you want to follow when you are actually developing the app within your no-code tool. So for example, with our clients, we use Bubble and the specific cycle, the development cycle they follow is to build their database first because your database is really the foundation of your app as a whole. The database is what is going to influence the overall performance of the app, the scalability. Um, and so it's a really critical aspect to get right. And this is really what you want to start with. From there, you're going to work on the page structure. And this is just like the overall uh, navigation of your app, the different flows, the different pages and screens. So just kind of like, if you think about building a house, for example, and the database is like the foundation, well, the page structure is like the framing of the house, of the rooms and all of that. Now, after that, you want to focus on the user creation aspect of your app. You want to make sure that a user can be created and can come on board and actually, um, you know, start to make use of the, the database and go through all of the navigation. Now, of course, there's still a lot more to come, which is your custom features. Now, this is the, you know, bread and butter of your app. It's what makes your app unique, but you want to develop in this particular order versus starting at the top, for example, and kind of jumping around, which is what most people do when they're just starting out. But you want to start at the bottom because if you are working on your custom features, for example, and you're kind of like jumping around between the database, the page structure, different components of that feature, number one, you are jumping around. And so it's just it's not an efficient way to develop your apps. So you're going to be spending a lot more time than you really should be. But by building in this particular order, you're actually able to test the app correctly as you go um, and really just use what you've already built to inform what you will be building next to, again, make your development more efficient. So, for example, your database structure is going to inform how you build your page structure and Likewise, you know, being able to create a user on the app prior to actually working on those custom features is going to allow you to, as a user, go through and use and test those custom features as you go. So you're just making your process a whole lot easier by doing this. Now, this is how you want to build your app from the start of the pilot version. But as you add more features, you still want to follow this cycle. So let's say you've completed your pilot version and then you're going to add a specific custom feature for that beta release. You're still going to follow this development cycle.